Hi, I'm Jim Kelly with Saddle Point Systems and I'm here to show you how to do perfect binding using the temperature activated strip on the Palace Model 20 binding machine. Perfect binding is where you print your own cover out and wrap it around the inside of the document. So it gives you a, a real paperback book look like a phone book. So the way this works is you take the inside of the document and you bind it in the fastback with the temperature activated strip. The fastback is a great machine for doing tape binding, image strip binding, but now also perfect binding. So it tells you here that it's a perfect back temperature activated strip and it binds it up and we let that cool. While that's cooling, I have one that's already cool and the way this works is I put an extra sheet on the top and the bottom of the book that I can peel off and discard and what happens here is the whole strip peels off and the only thing that is left is glue. So that's the inside of the book. That's the book block. Now I have to insert it in the cover. And for the covers you can start and print an oversized cover and cut it out to the right size exactly and then you don't have to do a three knife trim after you've done the binding. Uh, or you can bind it with an oversized cover and then trim out afterward. If you laminate the cover then you don't have to worry about toner melting in the fastback. But now if it's not laminated, just straight toner there, you can still do it by protecting the spine. And that's what we'll do with this book. So first of all we have to score the cover. This has already been trimmed out to the right size. And we're going to use the Powis scoring machine which is a very good machine for scoring perfect bound covers. And the way it works is you've got this gauge here and you set the orange area to be equal to the width of the book. Just like that. And then you tighten this knob down. And you put your cover in. And the beautiful thing about this scoring machine is that the die is clear and you can see exactly what you're doing. So I have centered the spine on the blade. And then I'm going to lock the sheet in place and move the crosshair, the center of the crosshairs to the edge of the sheet. Just like that. And that's the setup. So now we're set up for doing all our books. I'm going to score it from the back side because I don't want the scores to get in, in the way of my perfect binding. So what that does is it puts two deep scores into the book. It's centered exactly in just the way I like it. We fold it and we're going to put the book block inside now. And to protect the toner on the cover, what I've done is I've taken an 11 by 17 sheet of paper and I've peeled off an extra one of these liners that goes on the back of one of these perfect binding strips and I've scotch taped it down to the spine. And that release liner is going to keep the toner from melting. So now what I've got is the book block, the cover, and the protector. And I go over the binding machine, go to the menu, and go to temperature activated cover. And also here 
you can go to the temperature activated settings and the way I have it set here is bind temperature medium pre-melt is on cover seal cycle is off that's where the heater comes up and touches the cover and I don't need that and then I'm actually taking six seconds off the bind spine time to protect the toner even more so here we go put it in there Time button tells me we're in TA cover pre-melt cycle what that does is it melts the glue brings the hook back forward so I can now push the book block completely into the spine hit the bind button again and that completes the bind so there we go and notice that the toner has not been marred at all and we put that in to be cool a couple other points about perfect binding is you don't want to do a full bleed sheet with your toner you because the glue will stick to the toner but the toner will come off the page and therefore the page will come out so one rule of thumb is don't do a full bleed leave just a tiny little margin at the edge the other thing is you want the grain of the paper to go the same direction as the spine of the book if possible and the third thing is you want to avoid using real heavy cardstock in the center of the thing because that will tend to crack out of the bind. And also the book behaves a lot better when it's all just a nice thin paper. One last note is if you're doing thinner books, the nice thing is you can do that many books. So maybe it, you get seven or eight books and bind the insides of all of them at the first and then you can just take a padding knife and separate them like that and then put all of these little books in their covers put them all back in the machine at the same time cycle them one time and you're doing a whole lot of books at one time and you're only using one strip I hope that's helpful Thank you very much. Have a good one.